God's blessings to all our liturgy scholars. Once again, this is Father Pete Jankowski from St. Patrick's Church, and I have set up our altar for what is called the Liturgy of the Eucharist. And in this particular session, I want to talk about one specific part of the Liturgy of the Eucharist, namely what we call the Body of Christ, or the Real Presence. In an earlier lesson, I taught you that behind me, in our tabernacle, we notice that the actual body of Christ, body and soul of Christ, is located in that uh, metal box in the back of our sanctuary. It's signified by a tabernacle lamp. What I wanted to show you today is I wanted to show you this. This is what we call a host. This is what we call unleavened bread. Essentially, it is made of two simple things, water and flour, mixed together, poured into a pan, baked, and then they punch the holes out, which form these hosts. At every Catholic Mass that we celebrate, we use something called unleavened bread, or hosts, which parallels the story from the book of Exodus, when Moses and the chosen people needing to escape Egypt quickly out of fear of being pursued by the Pharaoh and his armies, baked their bread without leaven. They baked their bread without a rising agent. And so that unleavened bread they carried into the wilderness where for 40 years God fed them manna from the sky and he gave them water to drink so that they would survive. To commemorate this celebration which is called Passover where God passed over the chosen people who were spared any form of death, they celebrate this feast with unleavened bread. Jesus, according to Joachim Jeremias, Jesus celebrated his Last Supper as a Passover meal. Three of the four Gospels specifically talk about what happens with this bread and wine, where in the Gospel of Luke, and also paralleled in the first letter to St. Paul to the Corinthians, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples saying, take this and eat. This is my body, which has been given up for you. What we do at a Catholic Mass is we use the same basic elements that were used in the Old Testament times that Jesus used at his Last Supper and we celebrate the exact same liturgy, the exact same Last Supper that Jesus offered some 2,000 years ago. He used unleavened bread, we used unleavened bread. This, at this moment, is just a host. It is just unleavened bread. And what is inside that tabernacle looks exactly the same as what I am holding in my hand with one significant difference. During the Mass, when the priest actually was ordained a priest, the bishop actually smeared oil on the, the, my hands and he said a prayer and he consecrated these hands. These hands now belong to Christ. When the priest places his hands over the bread and wine, it is no longer his hands. These are the hands of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit that changes the bread and the wine into his own body and blood. So there's a term we use. There are two terms we use that are big highfalutin theological words that I want you to understand. This is called an accident. This is the appearance of a host of unleavened bread. This accident is just simple flour and water baked together. The difference between this and what is in that tabernacle is that the accident remains the same. This looks the same whether it's here or in the tabernacle. The difference is in the substance. This substance is still bread and wine. That substance has been changed into Christ in his entirety. The accident is the same. 
the substance has changed. We use a big, huge theological term that I want you to understand. It is called transubstantiation. The word trans means to change, to go from one thing to another. So for instance, transcontinental. This is transubstantiation, moving from one substance to that substance. This substance is just bread and water that's baked. That substance that has been changed into the body and blood of Christ completely and totally. It may look the same, but the substance is different. So when we come into church and when we see something that looks like this, that has been changed into that, we genuflect, we show respect, we adore the body of Christ. And you'll notice that at a Mass, when we take this changed substance and we put it what's in, called a monstrance, which is, looks like a moon with its rays shining out, we're essentially saying the body of Christ shines upon us. And then we find hope that God has not given up on us, that for 2,000 years and for the thousands of years that continue, we have this gift of God that God is willing to give us through the person of the priest, through the power of the Holy Spirit, as the bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. Please understand those two words, accident and substance. Please learn the word transubstantiation. Thank you very much. May God bless all of you.